do you have investments outside of do you, do you like regularly invest in real estate anything like that yeah I, I, I um you know something man it's funny in my life man it's weird right because I just I had a lot of redemption in my life like I feel like I was taking it I feel like I don't know man I feel like like the gifts I was getting a lot of them was coming from the devil and a lot of gifts God gave me I was using the devil tactics in it so when I got into real estate, I felt like I was trying to be a like a, a billionaire doing it. And I feel like I was wrong. Because I'm like, yo, Walker, like, this is just me. I'm not calling anybody wrong. And I feel like, yo, Walker, like, like I beat so many odds, right? And I got to a point where God blessed me with uh, teaching me, like, yo, Walker, you're your first business. Right? So as being Walker Walker, I had to learn that real estate first. And then I did. I was going through the notion of being that walker. So in being that walker, I learned real estate now. And then I got into that, and it was just greed. It was just like, yo, I could buy this house for for eighty thousand dollars because these people can't afford it. And I put forty thousand into it for one twenty. Then I go sell it for one hundred and eighty. I'm like, damn, I feel bad because I just kicked them out. Technically, I really could have just helped them and split the money in half with them. See what I'm saying? But I didn't know that. So. If I could go that route, that's what I do now. Back then, I got, I just had too many houses. Like, I'm owning real estate. I'm sneaking it. And I don't let nobody around me know what kind of stuff I'm doing. Cause I, I don't know. It's just, I just felt bad. I just gave it up. Like, You know, uh, a couple of things you said there that I, I like. First of all, Warren Buffett says uh, the best investment you can make is in yourself because they can't tax it and they can't take it away from you. Exactly. And that's what you said. First, I had to work on this real estate, you know, and. In, in our business performing in front of people, it's like a personal development uh, program with a pay plan attached to it. The better you are per professionally on stage, the better you are in your confidence, dealing with trolls, dealing with the media and all that same with here. You know, it's a, maybe TMZ for you is Forbes for me, but it's the same yeah. same people. If something doesn't go right, they're going to report Forbes, on it. Baby. You know, I, don't, I wouldn't even want to be on Forbes. See, I, see, I would literally send a cease and desist to Forbes. Really? Yeah, I sued him. Really? Tell us about that. What happened? But you know why I would why I would do that if I was get on there? Uh because God told me, hey man, don't glorify nothing. I just don't want to put no glory on my money. I want you to see me first. I want you to see this paper. Because no matter how woke or cool or humble I am or this, bro, I, I I'm human, right? right? So I still ain't taking no shit from anybody. So when people know you got money, it's just a different attitude towards you, man. I'm telling you, like, people just won't tell you how they feel. They'll, they'll bite their tongue. It's true. And that's some shit that I just can't stomach. So this is what made me so personable with people. I want you to be like, yo, Walker, your fucking breath stinks. Like, yo, but, <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Like, I want somebody that actually worked, like, is employed by me to tell me that. Right. To me, if you got that kind of environment around, yo, it's beautiful, bro. I swear to God. Like, that, and that's what my life is today. So I love it. But, yeah. You know, uh, I actually had an employee tell me that. But, yeah. Uh, Fat Joe was in here last week and he said something similar about money. He said, you know, coming up in the hood, I've never been robbed by a gangster with a gun. I've always been robbed by some dude with a suit and a tie on. Yeah. You know, and that's what you're talking about. If they see your money first and them snakes or sharks, or whatever you want to call them, they start swimming, you know. So, yeah, same in my industry. Yeah, but watch this, though. Check this out, though, right? This is this is about the fuck. This fucked me up in life. That's how I looked at it as a young guy. But being a 36 year old man. I had to think to myself, like, hold up, Walker, you giving them all the fucking credit. Why are you why are you giving the snakes, the sharks, the these, da 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 these? I'm gonna put them in a bracket that's evil. Right? For me, this is what I do. I right. put them in a bracket that's evil. So I'm like, all right, these are not bad people, they just evil. Whatever. So back which is living life. So I'm gonna put another bracket of living in life in it, right? That's where I'm at. So then I had to take it from a living perspective, like, hold on, Walker. It ain't that these people cheated you and this, that, and the third. Learn what the fuck they did because you in an industry that you didn't have conscience. You wasn't conscious or had knowledge about that could happen. Now you do. So those people don't even exist no more. So you go to another level in life. So what my moral to what I'm telling you, I don't give anybody credit for, for harming me, taking from me, doing anything. Hell no, because I still got the power of choice to do that. All I got to do is just, I ain't fucking with you. So I ain't calling nobody. No, I don't call people thieves and stuff no more. You ain't no thief. Cool. I might give you the power to say you stole from me, my boy. I'm just going to take notes now, write that down, make sure people like you can never do that again. It just make me real strong. Yeah. So a lot of people like flaws and what beat them down actually strengthen them. But they just not looking at it as strength. They looking at it from a fearful perspective instead of like a living perspective. 
we always say the struggle makes you stronger. You know, that the struggle that you go through in life is there to make you stronger, whether it's in the gym or whether it's in business or whether it's mentally True. or in your relationships, it's there to, to make you become better to overcome that struggle, you know? But see, again, see, 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 I love when I talk to people, see, see, again, you're giving the word struggle power. It's not a struggle, it's actually experience. Yeah, yeah, that's a good word. Yeah. It's, it's just part of it. Part of it. Like, get the fuck out of here. Like, once you, you sit in to, and have a belief or something, it's over with. You're stuck to that. So I used to be like, yo, I'm depressed. But it's funny because I'm like, yo, what the fuck? But I remember I, in one, one part of my life a couple of years back, like me being him, like, damn, that's what they call depression. But I'm not about to say nothing. But I felt like it. Like, I used to feel caged in. Right. This what made me want to learn so much. I feel like knowledge cleared my whole, like, everything. It made me look past everything. Like, I'm talking about everything you possibly could think about that crushes the average person. All the, I'm telling you, it's, I just pick books up, read it. I look at people, experience it. I take it all in and move with life. That's, that's why I can fly through it.